Good day grade 10s. Today's lesson is about the Earth's magnetic field. As we know the Earth behaves as if there is a big bar magnet inside it. So it is actually acting like a big bar magnet and these are the field lines around this bar magnet. Now there is a difference between the geographic and magnetic north. The geographic north pole is the point about which the Earth rotates on its axis. We know the Earth rotates and the line along which it rotates is actually the geographic north pole and the geographic south pole. Whereas the magnetic north pole, in other words the north pole that the, the compass points to is actually about a hundred, well it's actually hundreds of kilometers away from the geographic North Pole. It's about 15 to 20 degrees apart. So if you look over here on this little map you can see that here is the geographic North Pole and this is the magnetic North Pole and this angle between them is called the angle of declination and if you've done geography already you'll have learnt a little bit about that already. So now why is the magnetic field, the Earth's magnetic field, so important? The Sun gives off very high energy charged particles, very high energy charged particles. The stream of charged particles coming from the Sun is called solar winds. And these solar winds carry these high charged particles and it can be very dangerous to humans and animals on Earth. So what we're lucky that we have what is called a magnetosphere. Now this is an artist's rendition, in other words an artist's picture of what he thinks it looks like. But do you see there's, there's a little earth, okay, here is our big magnetic field and here is the solar winds that are coming pushed over here, they're coming being pushed across here. So what happens is these charged particles come close to earth and they're deflected by the earth's magnetic field. So there they are and they've been actually pushing the Earth's magnetic field over. And the region where these particles are affected by the Earth's magnetic field is called the magnetosphere. Magnetosphere. Geomagnetic storms occur when large amounts of energy from the Sun interact with the Earth's magnetosphere. And this can interfere with electric and magnetic systems, power grids and cell phone networks. So if the cell phone network goes out or power grid goes out, sometimes it's caused by these giant electric storms or these electromagnetic storms that are caused by the solar flares and the solar winds. Now the cool thing about our magnetosphere is that when the charged particles from the solar winds from the Sun reach the Earth's magnetosphere they spiral along the magnet magnetic field lines towards the North and South Poles and what happens is when they collide with the particles in the Earth's atmosphere they can cause red and green light and this is called the Aurora Borealis and the Aurora Australis. Aurora Borealis is the one that's found in the Northern Hemisphere and the Aurora Australis is the one that's found in the Southern Hemisphere. Isn't it beautiful? Right, and that's all that you need to know about the Earth's magnetic field. Have a wonderful day, Great Tens.